So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download active fire data for whole world in shape file and KML file format and also in text file format. So open a browser and in the search section enter as the fire information for resource management system. So once you entered as fire information for resource management system, click enter. So now click the first result called fire information for resource management system. So this is the official website where you can able to download the active fire data. So it is a short introduction about this uh, active fire data. So that is firm's data. So fire information for resource management system provides an access with a minimal delay to satellite imagery, active uh, fire and hotspots and related product to identify the location, extent and intensity of wildfire activity. So the firm's tools and application provides the geospatial data products and services to support the broader fire management community and to inform the general public. So the global data available within the three hours of satellite observation. So for US and Canada, the active fire detections are available in real time. So now get down. So discover firm. So we have a variety of uh, data here. So global fire map, US Canada fire map and web services. So now click this option called active fire data. So this is the interface where uh, you can able to download the active fire data. So the fire data can be downloaded from uh, MODIS as well as the VII RS for last 24 and 48 hours and 7 days in shapefile, KML or in text file format. So here the MODIS uh, C6 is available from November 2000 to the present and similarly the VI RS of 375 meter resolution the data is currently available from January uh, 2012 to the present. So you can go through the data set availability from here. And uh, let me scroll down. So you can uh, download the active fire data for whole world as a shape file. So here you can download uh, the active fire data as a modus uh, one kilometer and uh, VIRS 375 meter resolution and similarly the VIRS of 375 meter resolution, NOVA 20. And uh, there is different uh, data sets available and, all, and also it's available in Landsat 30 meter. So we're gonna download the active fire data for whole world for Modi's uh, one kilometer. So we're gonna click this option called 24 hours, 48 hours and seven days. So the data started downloaded here. So we have downloaded our, the Modi's active fire data as a shapefile format, so you can able to see here. And similarly, so scroll down. So to download our Actify data in KML file format, so you can choose your, uh, you can select your data set of your choice here. So there is a, uh, the data sets availability is from MODIS one kilometer and VIRS uh, 750 meters to Landsat of 30 meters. So I'm gonna click the, the Actify data for whole world in KML file format. So I'm gonna click this option here. So let's get started downloaded here. So mode is C61 global uh, 48 hours KML file format. So now we have managed to download our active file data both in uh, shape file as well as in KML file format. So we can able to see here. So this is the download section. We have downloaded uh, the active file data in both the uh, shape file as well as in KML file. Now to uh, visualize our MODIS active fire data in RGIS Pro. So first let me copy this data and paste it to my folder location. So now I'm gonna paste my uh, active fire data shapefile here. So I'm gonna extract this data here. I'm gonna right click on this and click this option called extract. So once you extracted your uh, active fire data shapefile, so I'm gonna open my RGIS Pro. Navigate to the map section here. In that, click this option called Add Data. So click this option called Browse. So navigate to the folder location where you saved your active fire data as a shape file. So you're going to click this option called Modis C61 Global 48 Hours dot shape file, and I'm going to click OK. So this is active fire data for uh, entire world. So you're going to right click and click this option called Attribute Table. So in the attribute table, you can able to visualize the different fields starting from the latitude, longitude, brightness, and satellite confidence, and uh, brightness T31 and FRP and day night. 
So now let us take a look what is FRP. FRP defines. So an active fire data table provides us a firm's data. So the FRP stands for fire radiative power. So FRP is a measure of radiative heat output from the fire and is expressed in megawatts. It provides us an estimate of the fire intensity and it is derived from our satellite observation. So FRP quantifies the amount of energy being emitted by the fire in the form of radiation. So the higher FRP value indicates the more intense fire, which are typically larger and have a higher fuel consumption rate. So FRP values are obtained using thermal infrared sensors on the satellite, such as MODIS and uh, VIRS. So these sensors detect the heat emitted by fire and algorithm that converts the data into FRP values. So FRP is used by the scientists and fire managers to assess the severity and potential impact of the fire. So now let us take a look at this, uh, fire, this particular fire data here. So I'm going to classify this particular data. So navigate to the symbology section here. And I'm going to click this option called graduated colors. And uh, I'm going to select the field. Uh, the field I'm going to select will be the FRP. And uh, so it has classified the data accordingly here based on the color. So here the FRP's value starts from 0 to 1514.72. So for example, uh, this is the da example uh, data set here. So this is latitude, containing latitude, longitude satellite frp confidence and brightness so frp here represents so this is the frp a fire radiator power measured in megawatts this example is frp is in 75.8 indicating a fire radiative heat output and uh, this field is a confidence in percentage so the level of confidence of fire detection often based on the likelihood that the detected heat signature is indeed a fire here it is 95 percent suggest suggesting a higher certainty and uh, followed by we have the brightness value here. So brightness temperature of the fire in Kelvin reflecting the intensity of the thermal radiation detected. So for example, based on the above data set, the FRP value of 75.8 megawatts suggests a significant fire with substantial amount of energy being irradiated. So higher FRP value generally corresponds to more intense fire, which can be uh, correlated with higher rate of fuel consumption and potentially a greater impact on environment and air quality. And the higher confidence percentage supports the reliability of the this detection as a actual fire event so by using frp data the researchers can assess and compare the intensity of different fires and prioritize the response effort efforts and uh, model the potential emissions and impact on atmosphere so let me get back to rgis pro here so you can able to see from this data data set here we have the frp the fire the fire radiator power the brightness as well as the confidence so here from the red uh, red dot here indicates the higher FRP value and and uh, from the field here the brightness here uh, is it is indicated in Kelvin here. So the brightness field in this uh, data is represents uh, which is uh, indicated in Kelvin. The temperature is represented in Kelvin and similarly the confidence field here the confidence uh, indicates the level of uh, confidence level of fire detection often it's based on the likelihood the detected heat signature is indeed a fire. So if it has, if it is a for 95 uh, confidence level of 95, it is suggesting high certainty of fire. And similarly, let us visualize of a fire data in uh, Google Earth Pro. So let me navigate to the this particular section, and uh, this is our uh, downloaded fire data in KML file format. So let me double click this to open in Google Earth. So now here you can able to visualize the active fire data for entire globe in uh, Google Earth Pro. So you can able to visualize all the orange color. The fire symbol here indicates the active fire uh, areas. You can able to view that. So we have managed to download for entire world. So now we can able to clearly visualize here the active fire data for entire world here. So in this video, I have shown you how to download the active fire data from the firm's website. That is fire information for resource management system. And we have visualized the Actify data in both uh, ArcGIS Pro and uh, Google Earth Pro. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.